welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we discuss crazy socks, the pros and cons, and whether you should wear them or not. Some of you may wonder, do I actually wear these socks? The answer is unequivocally no, and I'll explain why here. So what exactly are crazy socks? There are socks that have bold colors, bold patterns, and whimsical motifs such as footballs, baseballs, or a solar panel. You can find them in nearly every color under the sun, and sometimes they have comical motives, or serious motives, or just something that an artist came up with. In the last few years, they've almost become mainstream amongst casual business cultures, maybe inspired by Silicon Valley, or just a startup culture where formal traditional dress codes are not enforced. Many men think crazy socks are a good way to express their unique style and personality, yet let's discuss the pros and cons. First of all, a crazy sock really makes a statement and you're definitely different than you stand from the crowd, so if that's your ultimate goal, crazy socks are a good way to achieve that. Now, standing out can also mean being the odd one out or being weird, and crazy socks have that potential because they're just so bold and outlandish that they don't work with anything, and they're just contrasting and make an extreme statement. There's no room for subtlety at all. I think a lot of men gravitate towards them because it's relatively easy to pick up a pair of socks and then think you're done with your outfit. However, if you want to have an elegant, stylish outfit, just changing your socks is not enough. First of all, ask yourself, do I want to identify as a well-dressed gentleman? If the answer is yes, you should probably not wear crazy socks because they're simply over the top. A simple, bold, obnoxious accessory won't make or break the look. Instead, it draws attention to itself, and so people will look to your feet rather than your eyes, and you want them to look into your face and not at your feet. A gentleman can be eccentric, and you can create an entire outfit that frames you as a person, even using some louder accessories. But if they're too out there, you just destroy the overall harmony. Would you wear tacos, beer mugs, or dinosaurs on your ties? Probably not, and therefore you also shouldn't wear them on your socks. Reason number two, it's a cry for attention. It basically says you can't get people to look at you or get an interest in you in any other way, that's why you choose something that's so overly bold and out there, because that's your last resort. Bold crazy socks like this one basically communicate that you're desperate for attention, which is never a good place to be in. The third reason you should avoid crazy socks is that they're often of low quality. In order to keep the price low, you have to go with low quality materials, that means a lot of nylon, that means a very limited range of sizes, because that way you can stock more and it's easier and requires a lower capital investment. Of course, feet are very different in size and if you have size 13, you need a different pair of socks than if you have size 8. While doing research for this video on crazy socks, we actually found that oftentimes they only come in short lengths, never over the calf, and they have a lot of nylon and come in very limited sizes. Most of the time it's one size fits it all, or they have three sizes at the most. So the problem is those socks will slide down inevitably and expose your ankles, which is not something you want to show to others. The cotton used is of lower quality, it's stretched with nylon and polyester to keep the price point down, and basically what you pay for is the design or the eccentricity. In theory, you should be able to find quality crazy socks, but in reality, it's super difficult and it's just not the case. In essence, crazy socks are a disposable fashion item and it's part of a throwaway culture because it won't stand the test of time, it's not something you can wear on and on and on, and it's just not something that combines very easily with other items in your wardrobe, and for that reason, we suggest not to wear them. Of course, the choice is entirely up to you. If you want to set a statement that way, go for it. If you want to be a well-dressed gentleman with a timeless wardrobe that is elegant and highlights the person behind it, avoid them. Instead, go with solid colored socks or maybe two-tone socks, such as the shadow stripe socks. That way, you still can add some personality and color to your outfit without going overboard and looking obnoxious. Also, bear in mind that if you have crazy socks, you're less likely to be taken seriously. Usually those socks are associated with teenagers or hipsters, but not with men who work in an office environment who are professionals. So who can wear crazy socks? It's perfect for people who want to be outlandish, geeks, 
or artists who had the Mona Lisa on their socks. For example, if you have like orange and gray, it has a brown tone, so you can wear it with brown tones, you can wear it with a pair of denim, and they're colorful, and you can pick up an accessory like your tie or your pocket square and combine it in a way that is meaningful, stylish, and it will earn you compliments. For example, here you can see a royal blue sock with a subtle pair of clocks on the outside paired with seersuckers and brown suede shoes. It works really well, it's not too outlandish, but still very stylish. If you wanna learn more on how to pair colorful socks with your pants and shoes so they look stylish, please check out this in-depth video here. As a conclusion, it's okay to go with bolder socks. Try to either stick to solid colors or patterns. Don't combine them, otherwise it's over the top. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and hit that little bell. And if you wanna learn more about a classic men's style and what mistakes to avoid, please sign up to our free email list here.